Well, it's good to be here. It's always exciting to be the only English speaker on the, uh, on the schedule. I've always been a bit of a trendsetter. I was following people way before Twitter came out, so this is uh, <laughs> exciting for me. To, uh... <sighs> yeah, I, uh, I'm American living here in Sweden, and it is, um, it's, uh, it's awful, actually. I was gonna... <laughs> I'm sorry, I was gonna say it was great, but uh, my therapist has been telling me I have to be more honest with myself, so uh, it's awful. <laughs> and part of the reason why it's awful is because um, I get blamed, for most uh, of my Swedish friends here, I'm the only American that they know. So I get blamed for everything bad that happens in the US. When I, when I moved here uh, six, seven years ago, um, George Bush was president, which, you remember those magical years? <laughs> Great time to be an American there. Uh, that guy brought the world together, by the way. He was uniter. Every, the world was united in its hatred for George Bush. Um, but the Sw Swedes would, you know, they would meet, they would just be like, how? Why? And I was like, I, I didn't. I, I voted for the other guy. Like, I'm on your team on this. Uh, or else they'd be like, uh, really, Greg, another school shooting? What are you gonna do something about this? And I'd be like, my influence is limited, I think, here, living here in Sweden. Um, and actually, just last week, uh, uh, last Friday, I was uh, stopped off at a 7-Eleven just after midnight, and uh, the guy behind the counter said, uh, are you American? I was like, yes. I knew this was gonna end badly. <laughs> and he said, you motherfuckers just denied my visa. I was supposed to go on my honeymoon in Miami. <laughs> and uh, I was like, I am so sorry um, about that. I'm sorry for representing everything that's bad in your life. Um, but could I have some Marlboro Lights? Because that's why I, I came in here. <laughs> if you're done, I just want to make sure you're done with your anti-American rant. There's other stuff too. I mean, like, uh, people also assume that I, I'm into everything American. Like, you know, a couple years ago when Madeline got engaged to American Chris, people would be like, whoa, you must be so excited. Uh, <laughs> And I wasn't at all. I mean, it was, how does that affect my life? I'm not sure. <laughs> but they were so excited, so I had to like pretend. I was, I was like, you better believe I'm excited about this. This is gonna be amazing. <laughs> Finally, one of us got in that castle and uh, <laughs> opened up a McDonald's or something. My life is gonna be sweet from now on. <laughs> I'm really bad at faking I'm excited. <laughs> Um, but I was uh, curious about this guy, so I, I went uh, online and, and checked out uh, their engagement video, you know, Madeline and Chris, <laughs> which is hilarious, by the way, just if you, <laughs> in so, on so many levels, if you haven't seen it, just, I have it on a loop on my computer. Um, and so I was really you know, anxious to hear this guy talk, this American Chris, and, and, he, and I was waiting for him after Madeline said her few words, and then he started saying, uh, Madeline and I met four years ago on the Central... I was like, what the fuck kind of American is this? <laughs> Pretty sure you get your ass kicked talking like that in the America that I remember. Turns out the dude's from London. Like, what the fuck? Why are we getting credit for this guy? We don't want this guy. This guy makes Daniel look cool by comparison. <laughs> yeah! I am making Swedish royal family jokes. <laughs> That's what my life has come to. <laughs> the fuck did I end up here? Jesus, where am I? But then the, my favorite part of that video was when uh, American Chris, with the British accent, uh, decided to speak uh, Swedish. And I was really ready for this. I was like, this is gonna be great because I mean, you know, if you're marrying the king of Sweden's daughter, you gotta be pretty fucking good at Swedish. You know, you should be studying this shit and you're ready for this moment. You wanna show the whole country that you're totally into this. 
And uh, he just said one line, one line, which was, uh, your love is just going to this word. And I was like, what the fuck was that? American Chris? Jesus. And the sad thing about that is like, you know that was his best take. You know, they must have done that like 25 times and that was like the only time he was even saying words or something. What, what the fuck were the other takes like? You know, you let me do Like, oh fuck. We gotta use that first take. Uh, this guy's a fucking moron. I feel bad, I should make fun of American Chris. My therapist told me I shouldn't hate people I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I like that joke so much. <laughs> uh, and I know what you're thinking, and some of you are probably thinking, hey, Greg, uh, come on, you making fun of this dude for his Swedish? I mean, your Swedish sucks too. And first of all, fuck you for thinking that, whoever was thinking that. <laughs> Secondly, your can svenska. <laughs> yeah, I can keep going if you want that shit. Now, I, I know I speak Swedish uh, only with my son's friends, basically, and um, so I know for a fact I speak Swedish at a seven-year-old level. <laughs> because uh, my six-year-old son's friends think I'm super cool, and my eight-year-old son's friends think I'm a total fucking moron. <laughs> and it's a certain... I mean, you haven't... Unless you've been condescended to by an eight-year-old, you really haven't felt humiliation like I have. <laughs> I'll, I'll pick up my son at school and one of his friends will be like, Förstår du när jag pratar så här? Like, Go fuck yourself, you little fuck. So that's, I can swear at them in English, that's the advantage that I have. And, then, uh, you know, his mom will be like, what's all do to mean son? i am like, but he started it. I... <laughs> no. The son's teacher had to have like a meeting with all the kids and say like, man får inte mobba Benjamin's papa. Honey, yet the shensley. Corn like, oh, you're a shensley, fuck this. I'm trying, I'm trying to learn the language, doing my best. There's certain um, words or phrases that I used to think meant one thing, but now that I've been here for a while, I realize they mean something else, like the phrase, vasadu. You know, vasadu, vasadu. You're familiar with that phrase, I guess. <laughs> I used to think that meant, uh, what did you say? But now when my wife says it, I realize it means, I heard what you said, I just want you to rephrase. <laughs> what you said. Yeah. This guy knows what I'm talking about. I'll call her up and I'll be like, hi, honey, it's me. Uh, I'm going out for drinks. I'm going to be out late. What's all, dude? I, uh, going out for drinks. I'll be home by eight. What's all, dude? Uh, I'll pick up the kids. I'll be home by five. Okay, puss, puss. 